Welcome to Terribly Accurate and to the month of March. In this video, we are going to look at the overall vibe for the month. Will you find your pot of gold? Are you gonna get lucky in love? Where do you need to push your luck to get ahead? What rain will be hitting your life? What will the rainbow after be? And then if you stick around all the way to the end of the video, you will find out what is your crystal of the month and what is it good for? How's it gonna help you? As well as figuring out how you can get a free reading from me. This video is for Libra. Sun, moon, rising, but not Venus. Unless you are spying on somebody else's um, love forecast, for example, then it's for their Venus. But this video right here is going to show you how to get the most out of these videos that I make or that anybody else makes for taroscopes, horoscopes, whatever, or even ones that you would read online. And one more thing, there are links below to connect you to the taroscopes that I've been making online for all zodiac signs. And now let's get started. Libra, what is your overall vibe for the month of March? Well, lucky you, whatever it is that you're trying to manifest, you can totally have it. So keep your mind focused on what it is that you want because the universe is conspiring to get it for you. Yay, I love that, anything is possible. It's a very positive vibe. Will you find your pot of gold? What's up with your finances? They're like, if you're confident about it, if you truly believe it, well then, hell yeah. I mean, a healthy dose of suspicion, like a little tiny bit, is okay because that is going to prevent you from making giant financial mistakes. But, I mean, it's gonna prevent you from being careless, right? But all of this confidence that you have, just kind of like trusting in the universe that you're gonna get what you want, totally. So, will you get lucky in love if you're single? And I mean, if you're dating online or if you have an online presence at all, this is like, it's possible somebody will communicate with you through like Facebook, Instagram, a dating app, email. It's definitely electronic communication. Maybe it would be a phone call, but it's more likely that it's typed, okay? Um, if you are a couple, relationship they're like for those of you that it feels hopeless we want to talk to you first don't make any decisions in the month of march why not now that you're good at making decisions anyway <laughs> i'm sorry libras um but they're like because it'll just drive you crazy because you're gonna hem and haw over it you're gonna wonder if you made the right choice things like that you're gonna start to feel sad and then be like oh fuck, was that wrong so just don't make any decisions until April, okay? Now, um, for those of you that are coupled but you're not in that kind of a situation, they're just saying like, don't take it to the next level yet. Like, if this is the month where you are gonna be like, hey, should we move in together? Should we get married? Should we move? Like, should we have a baby? Nah, not this month. Um, we can talk about it in April, but right now we're in a Mercury retrograde, so maybe that's why they mentioned that, okay? Now, if you're in a complicated relationship, something that is on again, off again, maybe, it's um, you're talking to each other, but it's not necessarily official or whatever. They're like, this is super confusing, number one, but they're like, be open to the possibilities of things that will come for you. Um, what they're saying is if you focus on whatever is going on between you and this person, there's something that you're missing that you don't wanna see. And it's because it's gonna make you sad. So um, kind of avoiding it probably isn't the best thing. If there are some red flags there, you know, maybe it makes you sad to not have the attention from this person, but maybe it is the best thing for you to move on so that you can be of that energy in which somebody that is better for you kind of hits you up like we have with the singles people, okay? Now, where in your life do you need to push your luck to get ahead? Like, how do we co-create what it is we're trying to attract with the law of attraction? And they're like, well, by speaking it into reality. So, you know, um, should you tell other people what it is you're trying to manifest? Absolutely. But like I have a Libra friend that, for example, used to be like, I'm a single mom. And then as soon as she stopped like kind of saying that, she met somebody. And I mean, I don't think that ended up working out. But the point is, she stopped being a single mom once she changed that verbiage. Okay, so speak into reality. Be careful of what you're saying, what it is that you want. You know, and if it's not true for you yet, this is why people screw up the law of attraction all the time. They do affirmations all day, like, I'm a millionaire, I'm a millionaire, I'm a millionaire. And they're like, ah, oh, law of attraction doesn't work because I'm not a millionaire. Yeah, because it wasn't the case when you said it. Therefore, you didn't believe it. Therefore, you didn't feel it. Therefore, your vibe wasn't right to attract it. 
I'm in the process of becoming a millionaire works better, doesn't it? And so speak into reality what it is that you want, okay? I am looking for my soulmate. I am going to find my soulmate. I am on a quest, you know? So, so that's what I'm talking about here. Speak it into reality, whatever it is in your life that you desire. Now, what is the rain that will be hitting your life? Like, what are the warnings for March? And they're like, eh, anything that's going to come your way, you can't control it anyway. So what the fuck is the point of me telling you and making you get paranoid? So we're going to just skip right over that. What is the rainbow or reward this month? And they're like, self-care. Um, is there some time that you wanted to spend for yourself, like reading a book that you wanted? Yeah. Is there, um, you know, extra money maybe to go and get that handbag that you've been eyeing for months? Maybe. But there's a lot of good like self-care and kind of luxury for you this month. And they're like, this is a change from the ordinary. So I don't know if somebody gifts it to you or what the deal is. Um, but they're like, this will remind you of happy times from your past. Like you're going to feel really good about that. And so, yay. Um, now we're going to shift gears and move on to your power crystal of the month. Smoky Quartz is a crystal that is safe to run under cold water. You can soak it in salt water to cleanse it, and you can even put it in the sunlight and moonlight to recharge it. The angel associated to Smoky Quartz is Archangel Michael. This stone is associated with the root chakra as are many black or red stones. This is the chakra that is right at the bottom of your tailbone. It is the red chakra. Smoky Quartz is used to eliminate negative energy and to replace it with light energy. It's a grounding stone. Sometimes our spirit gets a little bit floaty outside of our body and this will sort of pull your spirit back into your body and connect it back to earth and reality. This stone will help you to adjust to reality as well as your responsibilities. And this stone is fantastic for reducing depressive energies as well as suicidal thoughts. Smoky quartz helps to eliminate things in our life that are no longer useful to us. So maybe you want to take this stone into your closet and do a quick and do a quick assessment of what clothes you no longer want or need. Smoky quartz is a fantastic meditation tool and it helps us to eliminate our fear. Smoky quartz increases our awareness of the dreams that we are having and it helps us to set goals. Smoky Quartz might be most famous for its abilities to help us quit smoking and drinking. And it also really, really helps us prevent self-destructive behaviors as well as habits in our life. So maybe you could even use this stone for other types of addiction, such as sex addiction or gambling. Smoky Quartz is fantastic to balance energies in men particularly. Some varieties of Smoky Quartz have been irradiated, which means that you should not put them inside of your booty or your vagina or your mouth if you do not know the source of the stone. Oftentimes, the stones that are really, really black are not the natural ones. Those are ones that have been irradiated. That means that they carry small amounts of radiation. Does it mean that you are doomed to acquire Cancer, should you use this stone? No, the radiation doses are low, but you still should not put them in your body, just as you should not get x-rays constantly, because even though that small amount of radiation is not harmful, why radiate your body further and further? Does that make sense? Mm -hmm.